Time now for this week's Double Goofy. Well, one's just, is this the stupidest statement of the year in the world of politics? I say yes, but I don't know if it'll be the stupidest statement all year because there's such a, a gold mine of stupidity goes on in politics. And it's in an era where silly political statements abound. But we have an early entrance, as I said. You be the decision. It, uh, you be the judge. It comes courtesy of White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer. In painting Bashar al-Assad as a really bad man, Mr. Spicer stated the following. Hitler didn't sink to the level of using chemical weapons like the Syrian leader. Really? The problem is that Hitler actually gassed an estimated 8 million Jews in what were called gas chambers, which should have given Mr. Spicer a little bit of a hint on that one. Hitler also used gas bombs on the Russians. I, I think that may be the, stup- well, it's the stupidest thing I've heard this year. Outrageous, actually, for its ignorance. Okay, here's the other goofy. This one is going to be in the Public Relations Nightmare Hall of Fame. I think you're familiar with it. I'm talking about the disastrous episode in the United Airlines when we got lots of video of a passenger forcibly removed from what United said was an overbooked plane. Well, it turns out the plane wasn't overbooked, first of all. Secondly, it turns out that the passengers were turfed so that United could put its own employees on the plane. What a mess. Especially for a company whose slogan is, Fly the Friendly Skies. I mean, you start laughing at that. But I love a lot of the sarcastic tweets. I can't do them justice, but I love the one that says they should re-brand United, uh, rebrand United as Jet Black and Blue. Another, although this was much better if you saw the picture, but it said United Airlines is pleased to announce new seating on all domestic flights. In addition to United First and Economy Plus, we're introducing Fight Club. But it was the initial response of CEO Oscar Munez that gets my goofy this week. He said... <laughs> And I'm laughing already. This is an upsetting event to all of us here at United. I apologize for having to reaccommodate these passengers. Forced off the plane, physically removed. One of them, at least I saw in the video, bloodied. And instead he's calling it, no, we're reaccommodating them. My goodness gracious. Here's the other kicker. Munoz, by the way, was recently honored. This is true. as Communicator of the Year by PR Week. Maybe they'll do a recall or a re, you know, of that award. But come on. I love that. They're just getting re-accommodated. Oh, no, that blood, that stuff, that's nothing. We're getting re-accommodated. They certainly deserve my goofy. But, boy, led off by their CEO. That's all the time we have this week. I hope you enjoy the rest of the long weekend. I appreciate you listening. And please go to moneytalks.net and join us on Facebook. Get your kids to join us. It's all good for them. Have a great weekend.